Okay, with any uh, welder, I'm finding out with this one too. Um, there's a lot of bugs. And one bug I found out already is the case I use. It's got these cross sections of metal that go across here. And with it on, it makes a huge rattle noise. And I thought maybe it was the um, microwave oven transformer vibrating. But it's actually not. I took the top off uh, because I was having some issues and I couldn't figure it out. I figured out what it was. It was my. It was operator error. Um, and found out that uh, it's rattling on the metal housing at the top. So before I put it back together, I've got to find some kind of like uh, rubber or plastic or something I could stick on there. That way, whenever I press the uh, weld button, it doesn't make no noise because this thing's quiet as hell kind of surprised me um, let's see also finding out that where I've got my welder currently the leads are kind of I also found out that where I've got it the leads are hard to mess around with it's uh, making it kind of difficult to do anything so um, uh, I'll probably end up re-putting I'll probably end up putting it right where I said it was but like in my other videos, I found out that, you know, whenever you're using the correct equipment, you don't have to press so hard. You just stick it on there. That's it. And that's it. Neat little trick I learned from uh, uh, the guy I talk to in the line all the time. Uh, I'll throw his name in the video whenever uh, I get to it. I think I might throw one more on this one. And move on to the next one.
Why do I feel like I linger? Linger between the words to say, eh? To say the words you remember. Now we're here to take control over your body and over your soul. We're gonna take back everything and lose it all. Lose it all. Ended up at 377 welds. Maybe a little more because I think I reset it and I'm halfway through it. Um, um, these welds are really super tiny and I think it has to do with the leads. Um, I've noticed that my my negative side of the cable kind of acts kind of bonky. I don't know if maybe there's a weird connection inside of this little black thingy that they connect to. So I might end up having to take that apart to find out if there's something up with that. But I noticed that a different position, I got more power than I did at another position. I also found out recently that uh, because of the place I live, uh, the power coming out of the walls is less and then I think it's, I think, uh, hmm, I have a 10 up fuse I believe in there. And uh, it blew the breaker before it blew the fuse. Um, so if it blew the breaker before it blew the fuse, uh, that means that I'm not getting no more than eight amps out of the wall. Uh, I should be getting way more than that so um, I know that on the other wall when I used to have my setup on my table um, I was using a different plug in this house and it seemed to get a lot more uh, po more power I think even the voltage was like 125 instead of 120 um, thank God we're moving um, but for now it this is enough to get me by um, so I'm on to the BMS